Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Joseph, here for DIY Thursday. Today is a really cool video. It's going to be a little bit longer, but we are going to be installing some electrical outlets in the garage. Um, again, just a disclaimer, I'm no electrician. Um, anything that you do yourself, make sure you do the proper research, pull the necessary permits, talk to any professionals or even hire a professional before you begin any, any job. So just make sure to do that because you always want to be safe. So with that said, let's go ahead and show you this project that I did. I hope you guys enjoy this video and happy DIY Thursday. So we're going to change out this single plug to a two plug socket and then run conduit down and turn that into another uh, set of sockets here. Now we, ha now we have the socket opened up. Um, the first thing we want to do is you want to turn off the breakers and you always want to be careful and test and make sure that nothing is live on this circuit here. So we've tested, we see nothing is live and you see there the white uh, sh shield back there for the wire. That is the 14 gauge wire that we that we have in our household, so we're going to make sure that we're going to replace everything with 14 gauge wire. So we'll go ahead and move on to the next step of removing this and wiring everything up. Now here we have the socket removed. We have our uh, neutral wire here. We have our hot wire here, and then our ground wire here. So this is what we're going to wire everything to. That's our next step. Okay, now here we have added our box to the um, existing part right there, and we have our wires pulled through, so now we just need to add the uh, outlet part. All right, now I'm just going to get this conduit cut to the right length. So I got my sawzall here um, with a metal blade on it, so let's see how this works. Okay, and then after you cut your pipe, you just want to make sure part of code is you always have to ream the inside part of the pipe that you've cut. I've been using this here for Yobi uh, rotary tool to um, start deburring the ends, because remember like I said, the ends always have to be deburred. So I found that this works a lot easier. There we go, nice and clean. Always run your finger in the middle too after you deburred it just to make sure that there's nothing in there that's going to snag on any wires when you run them. So here we are, we've cut our first piece of conduit and set the run to the length that we need it um, and run our wire through it. So I'm going to wire up this part to the main connection here and then we'll see you back here in just a few minutes. So here we are, we have everything wired up. When you twist your uh, wires together, you want to make sure that they're nice and clean like you see here. Good contact on everything. We have, uh, coming out the ground, we have that screw. We have the ground wire actually connected to the um, ground on the, the box there and then coming into the, the braid there, the pigtail. Um, when you put your wire nuts on, you want to make sure that you're using the, the right size wire nuts. Um, only certain wire nuts are rated for you know certain gauge, gauge wires and the amount of wires that you have on there. Um, so I'll go ahead and I'll put these wire nuts on and I'll tighten this box up and we'll go ahead and we'll cut the next piece and move along. Okay, so here we are. We have this socket all buttoned up, ready to go. We've run our conduit down here. We've attached it into studs in the wall. If you can see along this way, 
We've run it through here, continuing to attach it to studs. <clears throat> ran it through here, so I need to wire this box here. And I also just went ahead and cut my conduit and some more, some more wire and ran it down here to my final box here. So this is where I'm going to be have it ending. So I'm going to go ahead and wire these up and then we will continue from there. Okay, so here we are with our runs. We have wired our first box that we get to here. Just let me show you. The ground coming out there is going and attaching to the uh, box here. So you always want to make sure your ground's attached to your box. Here's our uh, ground right there. We got our hot. We have our neutral right there. Everything's wired up. I just need to stick it in the box. We come down here. We did the same thing here. You see the ground is attached to the box there before being pigtailed in. Um, and there are the hot and the neutral pigtails. So we just got to put everything in and then I will turn the breaker on and then we will get this tested. This has been a pretty cool project. I think it looks really, really cool. So let's see how it looks when I get everything put together. Okay, so here we are. We have everything put together. I have turned the breaker on. I think it turned out really nice. Get the outlets there. I got the outlets there. One thing I wanted to point out is on these style connectors I use, they're the 90 degree uh, EMT connectors. Make sure whenever you do these that these screws here are really tight. You know, as tight as you can get them everywhere you can get them. And the reason is because the EMT conduit can be used as a, as a grounding source. So you just want to make sure that everything is nice and tight uh, on there. So all these little connections here, um, all of these, uh, when you screw them into the box, make sure that everything is, is real tight so it's one continuous um, piece, basically. So uh, one continuous uh, piece for the ground to flow through. So there's the finished result right here. I think it looks pretty good. So I'm going to pull out the tester and we'll test some voltage here. Uh, so let me go get my wife real quick so she can help with the camera. Alright, so now that we got everything together, I'm going to show you how to test it out and make sure that it's okay. Um, I do have my meter here that kind of makes it easy and at least shows that everything's wired correctly. So if I stick this in there, you see we got this green light here and it does say correct on here. So everything's wired correctly. And I have gone around and tested all of the other plugs. So I also know that they're wired correctly. Um, but I want to go ahead and show you guys how to test it if you have a multimeter. I have my handy Tech 4 multimeter here. Uh, so the first thing, uh, we just want to test to make sure that the voltage is correct. So. If I put one lead on the hot and one lead on the ground, you see we have 122.8 volts, so that's great. Now let's test the neutral to ground. And we have nothing, which is it should be. Let's test hot to the neutral. And again, we have 122 as it should be. So, all those check out like they should. Uh, we're looking good. Look at that. There we go. 122 on the neutral to hot. 122 on ground. Ground to hot, should I say. And then nothing on the uh, ground to neutral as it should be. So that's kind of a way that you can check to make sure all your voltage is okay. Uh, I did check down the line to, to make sure everything was okay. They all check out perfectly. Um, so just to end this video again, I want to say that I am not a licensed electrician. This is purely for entertainment purposes early, uh, only. Do your own research whenever you jump into a project, uh, especially something like this. You want to make sure that you pull your necessary permits, get your inspections done, 
Uh, ask an, uh, a professional if you don't know what the what to do. Make sure you ask a professional for help, or, or have them come and help you, or hire a professional. Any one of those, um, but just make sure that you do your necessary research uh, before you jump into any project, especially like this, dealing with electricity. But this was a fun one. I'm really happy to have the extra outlets in my garage. Uh, my next project is going to be to go ahead and put these cabinets up, um, put some. Um, some metal pegboard up and then I'm going to build my workbench so uh, you guys are going to be with me for all that and uh, thank you for watching till the end and I'll see you guys next Thursday